901-902. We've got the Marlins. We've got the Braves and my boy Spencer Strider. You can see the Braves are big favorites here. Minus 260, plus 210 for the Marlins. Total here sitting at eight, juiced a little bit to the under at minus 120. And uh, base winner, it looks like you and I are two hearts living in just one mind here. What do you think here, my Marlins and Braves? Yes, I heard that song yesterday. I yep. love it. I love me yep. some Phil Collins. It's my guilty. Yeah. Like I, I will dance to that in the shower all. I mean, it's inappropriate. It used but. to um, on my old Sirius radio. I, I couldn't figure out how to turn off the the alert. So every time a Genesis song would come on anywhere on Sirius radio and say, boom, there's a Genesis song. And so my wife was driving. If you get was driving with me one day and she's like, I, I didn't realize you were such a Genesis fan. I'm like, I, I'm really not. But it, I, I just can't figure out how to take turn off that alert. So uh, sounds amazing to me. Yeah, well, speaking of I got a name and I got a number, I've got a name for you. Spencer Strider, I got a number for you. The Braves are minus 362. And uh, I'm just not going to overthink this one, Kyle. Um, you know, Strider is the number one base winner pitcher uh, by a little bit over, over DeGrom. But you just kind of look at his uh, – this is pretty amazing. His last 150 plate appearance strikeout percentage, 41.3%. And if that's not good enough, he's best in baseball from a starting pitcher standpoint at uh, ISO power suppression at .083. And I just think it's an almost an automatic play here every time he, he steps uh, uh, to the mound. Uh, I, I could go into how bad the, the Marlins offense is, but I think that uh, Jason's done a pretty good job educating everybody about the quality of that offense. Uh, Garrett Cooper, the cleanup batter, pretty much all you got to say there. Uh, but but they're 26. They're 26 in baseball overall. So so when you when you look at this game and, and and this is what what's so good sometimes about working on a show with two guys who I really respect and make good bets. And Kyle, you really nailed this double result that Bet US offers, and it's a great opportunity. And I couldn't believe when we got the price on it. This minus 110 Braves mm -hmm. halftime full time. They've got to be ahead at at the end of five. They've got to be ahead at the end of the game. And uh, I mean, just taking a look now, this I thought this was a pretty interesting comparison that I made over the uh, 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 weekend. I, I, I took a look at these plays and I looked at any team that is because because we usually do it on big favorites. Right, Kyle? Right. Yeah. I mean, it's you just get a, it's a way to be creative and get better value on a team that's a favorite. Right. Yeah. So I, I looked at this and just. Just like not considering who was pitching or what the team was, just the team at home and their favorite minus 250 or above. Uh, how many times? That was a pretty decent sample. It was about 160 games. How many times they are ahead at the half and the full? And it came to 56%, which would mean like a like a true pricing just based on those factors would be about minus 125. So just just keeping that in mind, anytime you can get that below. Uh, like a minus 110, we have it here. I think it's a good opportunity to kind of dive deeper into the game. And and there's just, I mean, make a case for Miami, uh, anybody. But but I, I think this is a good play, Kyle. For, yeah. For the double look, it's baseball. So we know these good teams are going to lose. You know, no one's, uh, besides apparently Tampa Bay, who are 19 and three. But got to remember, the Yankees started out like this last year, too. And we're all talking about them winning 120 games. And that didn't happen either because it, it tends to regress a little bit. But you bring up a great point. Betting sports, wagering on sports is not just about picking who you think is going to win or lose. It's about a number as well. There, there isn't a bet out there that I wouldn't make for the right price, right? Like you could talk me into the Marlins if I got a, a good price, if I got the right number. There's a way you could talk me into it if the numbers dictate it. And it's an important way to go. That's how you're profitable. That's how you do it long term. Corby, what do you think here? I have Spencer Strider as the number one pitcher on the board today. Uh, I have it at the lowest weighted OPS on the card, Cabrera in the eight. So I think the Braves have the lineup advantage, obviously, starting pitching advantage, obviously, and the bullpen advantage, obviously. What do you think here, Corby? Braves, Marlins. Yeah, for the price, you're getting you're getting a good call to action. I think the only issue is Cabrera is a pretty good pitcher. He has command issues at times in the second percentile and, and uh, walks. But, I mean, he throws a 96-mile-per-hour fastball. The, the thing that's crazy about him is he throws a 92-mile-per-hour changeup. Uh, it's just, like, I don't know that the speed deception is really there. I think I would rather <laughs> yeah. have it a little slower, but it does look like a changeup and plays like a changeup, though uh, it's in the same arm slot and 
decently the same speed as his fastball. So it is pretty deceptive. He's gotten some swing and misses from it, but I think I would rather see him with a slower pitch. He has an 84 curveball, but uh, I don't trust his location by any means. So my only worry with this play would be, is it tied through five? Is it one, one, two, two? Uh, I, I don't think that the Marlins can really score here, so maybe like zero zero. Um, but the Braves' uh, offense is plenty fine to to try to get a run or two. So I think you're getting at least a really good call to action <clears throat> and price. And again, they've been they've been cranking out all year. Like, don't stop now. Yeah, exactly. And look, so I mean, in base winner and I just talked about it. So the Braves minus two sixty favorites. If you even take them on the run line in the first five, I believe it's juice like one sixty five or one seventy. Now we're getting them double result. If they're ahead after five, and especially a decent run, you expect that Atlanta bullpen to be able to outduel the Marlins bullpen. So now you're get you're you're buying a dollar fifty, right? And it's just for me, it's too much good value. I, I if you're not playing double results at BetUS, I don't know what you're doing. Again, BetUSTV.com/slash/join if you want a fifty dollar free play. BetUSTV.com/slash/fifty. The base winner and I both locked in Braves double result minus one ten. I think it makes a ton of sense today. And Rem Most in the chat box, I swear to God, I will ban you forever. I will ban you forever. How dare you? Don't you dare mess with what we have going on on Fridays. I swear I will ban you. Uh, I kid. We appreciate you watching the show. But lock in the double result, minus 110. 